Yeah, so if you're a patron member, we're live, broadcast live chat. We're getting up and going here, of course. If you don't get it live, don't worry. If you're a patron member, mid-level or above, you're going to get it in the back of your patron accounts within a day, so you'll get it months before the regular listeners. We thank everybody for being in chat here. Um, yeah, a lot of names in there. This is oh, awesome. Yeah. I recognize a few of those names. Yes, a lot of those names, and then some new ones too. So Big Daddy Kane's in the house. Big Daddy daddy is in the house there you go guys we got a fun episode for you so uh now that we're up and running live i'm gonna pause this and uh, we're just gonna go for it and uh do this thing and we'll monitor the chat as much as we can and uh yeah give us your input we'll see if we can get it into the episode all right let's start it out here so this is kind of cool lurch yes what is it? uh and i don't want to pronounce i don't know if he's in the live uh patron only chat right now but uh tim buick b-y-c-k he's a patron member he's in the private facebook group you guys have seen Boychuk. this what's that Boychuk. Boychuk. well maybe i don't see a h in there though i'm not gonna try i'm gonna say busick all right anyways we apologize we apologize he's in the private facebook group the guy's awesome because this is really what it, you know, law abiding biker media has evolved to is this. And this is the community because here's the deal. You all know we all work full time jobs. Um, I have a family, I have kids, I run law abiding biker media every night after my paying job and then every day off. And I don't have time to do everything that I want to do. Um, Eventually, we'll be able to do a lot more. But anyways, to get to the point, what he did is something that I thought was really cool. And he took it up on himself. And I appreciate and want you guys. Yeah. Tim's in there. Oh, is he? Okay. Yes. Sorry, it's, thank it's you. It's pronounced bike. Yes. Bike. Okay. Bike. Perfect. Very Last cool. name for a gentleman that rides a motorcycle. So I've been wanting to give Tim bike. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> um, a credit for a long time. Um, it's just as it comes, I, I try to get the stuff uh, squeezed in. So anyways, long story short, what Tim Bike did is he took it up on himself as part of the community, as part of the patron community to help bikers, help me help bikers. And what he did is he created a Google map and he's in the private Facebook group. And basically you're able to get on that post. Just if you go to uh, uh, our Google private, or excuse me, our private Facebook page and just search for map, M-A-P, his post will come up and basically it's a post where he takes a Google map and he pins where all the patrons are in the world. Oh, it's nice. pretty cool. Actually. It is. Have you seen it? Yes. Okay. It's so really cool. It is. And he just tells you, um, to, to tell him where you're from and he'll pin you on the map. And that gives you guys an idea. And it has, if you go to the pins, it gives information about if I recollect who the patron member is. So, you know, if you have people in your area that you want to connect with or ride with them, what a wonderful Dude, thing. Dude, I'm looking at it. It's money. Awesome. It's amazing. And I wish we could do this, Tim. Um, I can't. I don't have time. And I wish there was... It's a difficult thing, really, because we have patrons come and go. And, you know, new patrons, like I say, sign up. And so he's trying to... It, it's He's doing the best he can with it. And it's awesome um, to try to give you guys an idea. So if you haven't done that, get over to that post, search map, and then tell Tim where you're from, and he'll pin you on the map. And then you can start looking like, oh, wow, I have a bunch of patrons around me. And what's happened over time is obviously we have the non-official you know, official unsanctioned meetups, which is cool. We just use that term lightly. Um, bikers are meeting bikers. It's been going on for a long time in your area. Or you say, I want to get all the Northwest riders. And that's what Brad Johnston's doing. We just did an episode on that. And you can do all these different events instead of waiting. We can only really do one at this point once a year. And so you guys can reach out, connect with like-minded bikers. You know, it's troll free because everybody in the private Facebook group, it's a troll free zone. Anyways, it's a really cool map. So I will take this. Let me do this real quick. You're going to drop it into the I chat? I sure am. I hadn't seen it that yet. And that is very it, cool. That's amazing. the link to yeah. the map and the private or the chat here, guys, the live chat. If you click on it, it'll actually take you to the map, Tim. So thank you. Tim sincerely because mm -hmm. yes, he doesn't indeed. get anything for it. He just did it because he knew it was a cool thing to do for the community. So God bless. And this is the stuff to this day that still amazes me. Ryan, it's another biker helping bikers. 
Thank it's, you. It's bike helping bikers. Oh, oh bike. nice. Even got better, it, dude. It. Even better. Oh yeah. Once you've had Rick Rack, you'll never go back to Ultimate Motorcycle Luggage Rack Solution. Forget those messy straps and bungee cords. Go strapless with a Rick Rack Rick Quick Rack. Attach System. That's right. And quality bag. Head over to lawbettingbagger.com forward slash store and get hooked up now. We should listen to this. Have some fun with this, guys. Hey, I just bought a damn Milwaukee 8 oil change video that I don't want. <laughs> I don't have a Milwaukee 8. I have a Dyna. I need a Dyna video, not a Milwaukee 8 one. So... My email is at yahoo.com. I just want the Dyna video, not the Milwaukee 8. I don't know how to make that happen. I don't see that well on these computers. <laughs> so please help me. All oh, right. I hope you helped him. <laughs> I helped him. So we do <clears throat> that as fun, guys. Behind the scenes here and Big Daddy Kane's in the live chat. A lot of people, because we're getting bigger now, don't actually know who we are and hopefully you know all of you know like and trust us and there's a face behind the business we're getting big enough now that once in a while we get somebody that just buys a video that it really doesn't know our background or they buy something from the store just from a google search and they don't really know you know that we're actual bikers and people and we get some really rude things and uh so that was a video he bought and he clearly purchased the wrong video and the reason i'm playing it is number one I wouldn't give his name and I wouldn't give his actual email address. I would never do that to somebody because it reminds me of some of my family, like just <laughs> old school. He's not actually trying to be mean. Kind of reminds me of you. Exactly. He's not trying, <laughs> trying to, yeah, he's not trying Before to be mean. Latte. <laughs> and uh, so we have fun with stuff like that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that, but that's just how some people operate. And he obviously doesn't listen to the podcast anyways. So, um, and again, we didn't give any identifying information, but uh, it's just some of the stuff we have to behind the scenes. We get so stressed and we get busy and sometimes they can piss you off just a little bit, but you have, just have to uh, be the bigger person and realize that he means no harm by that voicemail. Yes. I see a brand new patron in the chat today, mm. Cindy K. I Cindy remember uh, sending her her welcome oh, email. She's very up recent. in Everett, Washington. Yeah. Very cool. Yep. Just well, joined. Welcome. Welcome, Cindy. Welcome, Cindy. Awesome. Awesome. To, there's a lot of new names in here. Yeah. We've had a, a big up spike in patrons, and we appreciate it. You guys are the backbones of what we do, and this is one of the many benefits um, that we give you throughout the year. You're seeing this live chat, you know, obviously, um, live chat, live broadcast. And then, of course, uh, even if you don't see it live, just remember, we had a question about that recently. Even yeah. if you don't catch it live, check your patron accounts the next day because you'll get to see the replay of it and it's months before the regular podcast comes out. So anyways, anything to say on that voicemail? We just had fun. He means no harm. We got him squared away and he's like, yeah, I purchased the wrong video. Um, we're just here to help guys. So we thought we'd have a little fun with that. Uh, can you see how many people are in the chat? Because uh, It's I, blowing up. I yeah. can't. I can't see a number. Somebody just said, is there really 116 people in the chat? They Actually, can probably see it on their end. Looks like 165. What? Wow. That that's, is a that's record. The number that, I'm I right think now. that's a record. Oh my goodness! Yeah, COVID nineteen. Everybody's at home, I guess. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. One of the benefits because we get to connect with so many more of you. So um, I'm certainly not excited about COVID nineteen. No, I no, just, not, at all. not at all. But it has. This is it. Imagine here. Take this into account, and then we'll get into our main episode. Imagine this happening prior social media. Look oh, at how we can still connect. Jeez. Right. Worldwide. Yeah. Worldwide. Worldwide. We can still do this and all hang out together. Um, before this, it would have been a lot different before right. all the, the technology that we have. So what a blessing. Absolute blessing. Oh, we better do that again, Lurch. One more time. Hey, Bikeaholics. Zero 3D has a wide variety of innovative products for your Hardy Davidson and a brand new line for the all-new Honda Goldwing named Gold Strike. Top, like qual top quality, be affordable Chrome lighting and comfort products. Zero Gold Strike are the motorcycle LED lighting innovators for CAN bus plug and play mm. system compatibility. Head over to lawbindingbarger.com for a store and check out our full line of Zero 3D products. And Big Daddy Kane, who runs the stories, the store operations manager, is right here in the chat with you guys. He has been swamped. I feel sorry for the guy. He's amazing because. 
the amount of orders because a lot of people are online shopping and the amount of customer service emails he has had to answer. Goat's been helping too, but uh, <laughs> big, <laughs> big Daddy is a machine and uh, he is taking care of business. And you get a good time in every package that every he sends you. That's right. Good time it's COVID life. free. Yeah. COVID one, one free. free. COVID free. That's right. Good time. When he's boxing your order, Big Daddy has a plastic hazmat suit. Um, he has a respirator on, gloves, and then he drinks hand gel. He drinks the actual hand gel to make sure he's COVID free. And uh, he even puts on an extra pair of gloves and and he gels those gloves. So the you, there's no thing. COVID-19 <laughs> in your box. I guarantee it. The Two. weird thing, though, is he's wearing a plastic hazmat suit, but it's see-through, and he's naked underneath. <laughs> oh, that's a bad <laughs> visual, bro. <laughs> that's a whole lot of sexy right there. I see Dr. Dan in the house. Good to see Dan. Yeah, been a while. I hope he's doing well in all this craziness down in Cali. Oh, my good goodness. All right. so uh, It's going to be hard to keep up with the chat tonight. I know. Under 70 people. It's going this is Nuts. a record. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah, this is pretty cool. We got an op- awesome episode, but so, we got to do this. Yeah, go ahead. Scott, the answer is yes. Scott who? More to, Scott Coburn. Mm. More to follow. Stay tuned. Oh, what, uh, hold on. What does that mean? Oh, I don't know oh, what you mean. He did you ever upgrade I, your boom box? Okay. We're going anywhere with this. This is a. This is just an awesome Saturday night chat. Yes. This is great. We're going to do whatever we want. We do have an episode for you guys, right. by the way. We have like a main topic and stuff. Um, uh oh, Lurch is getting something off the wall Uh-oh. now. Okay, Uh-oh. so let me answer. This is fun. <laughs> this is fun, and uh, this will be even the, the regular podcast listeners later will appreciate this. So, we just did an episode. We just got done recording it prior to this one, guys, and we filmed all day on a boombox conversion to the new GTS. Crazy, huh? Crazy, crazy. <laughs> the answer is yes. Yes, we filmed it. That video. Will be the next video to hit our YouTube channel. Maybe in about a week. I'm going to spend all week getting it up and edited. So yes, he did do it. Um, yes, we did film it. We give you step by step on how to do it. Everything you need to know about it. What you need to purchase. Some of the nuances. And uh, we will be rolling it out for free on our YouTube channel for you guys. And again, we just did a podcast episode on it after we filmed it all day. And I'm going to upload. We recorded, obviously, uh, via a private link. I'm going to upload it into the back of your patron accounts so you'll get the podcast episode, hopefully within one or two days, along with this episode will be uploaded there. Anyways, so yeah, there's your answer. So good question, good timing on that. It's crazy. It's like they could read our minds. Totally. You wouldn't want to read. Uh, <laughs> you know, no, no, stand you don't, wanna, you don't know what's inside of mine. It'll scare you. <laughs> no shit. Let's do this. I guess we should do like a uh, official podcast start, uh, episode here. I love it, dude. That's why you never know how we're going to roll. <laughs> Welcome back, you freaking bikeaholics. This is the podcast for the motorcycle majority, the big MM, also known as the 99% large and in charge of the motorcycle scene more than any time in history. That's right. We're taking over by listening to this podcast, by being here live, whether you like it or not. And I know you like it. You're part of what we call hashtag the biker revolution. What is it? I don't know if I felt that. What is it? I can't. The biker revolution. Oh, yeah, buddy. That's right. I'm picking up what you're putting down now. (laughs) Oh, I do. Yes, indeed. I'll tell you this. Before we get started, Lurch just has one question for you. What are you waiting for, bikeaholics? Mount up and let us take you. Another wild ass ride. There you go, guys. Ryan Erdocker here, your host of the Law Abiding Biker Podcast, and your high tech redneck. Mm, nice. And we do have a great episode for you guys, and I'll get to that just in a moment. But uh, yeah, look who's in the house. Mm. Thank you for your service. Thank you for allowing me to serve. Yeah, it's my pleasure. <laughs> Squid in the house. been a long long time does it bring back memories yeah some yeah. some good some, some bad really really good yeah <laughs> i like how you said that dude some good some really really good we don't want to know all right and of course the man the myth the legend I'm gonna do it live for you here because we got some new patrons do it good you... Ooh. 
Wow. Above and beyond. Very you good. Rang. Nice. Nice. Did you Chat's ring? going hot here, guys. <laughs> All right. So our main... I'm like now. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are, dude. <laughs> our main topic, which we're going to get into, is here. And then we have some very important things, really, actually, really quick. Um, but you'll want to stay tuned for those. Is uh, Our main topic is Hardy Davidson TV. We'll get into that. It's new. And uh, we'll give some opinions, thoughts, what it's about, um, you know, and all that kind of stuff like we do here. And then we want to go over the new Harley GMC pickup. There's some other trucks. Um, we're going to go over some of the specs and uh, pricing and whether you guys, what you think about this thing and whether it's worth it and, you know, all of our opinions uh, in between, of course. Lurch, you pulled something off the wall and I'm still not sure why oh, you did sorry. that. Oh, that's okay. Well, it's kind of a big deal. I hadn't seen it yet. I've, uh, I've been a little busy. Didn't get to see your uh, YouTube video that you made about this. That came uh, out a couple posts. days ago, guys. Uh, my 100K YouTube video, 100K subscriber. For everybody, look at that bad boy. Nice. That's the 100 over 100k subscribers. We're like at 108 or 109,000 now. Last I checked, which is just recently. It's amazing. It's, it's amazing. The channel's been blowing up, guys. And you guys, I've been putting out a bunch of content. I'm so tired, but uh, I'm trying to keep people entertained because I know a lot of people are home during COVID 19. So I've been putting out even a little extra content and some of the documentary films. And I know it's been appreciated. And uh, um, we've got a lot of new uh, patrons because of it. And we so much appreciate that. You guys are our backbone. We look forward to those funds every month to see how, what income we have and what we can provide and what services and how many videos I can do and everything in between. It's really still to this day, the backbone and why we do what we do and continue to do. I mentioned that in that YouTube video that uh, again, I, I always say it and I know people get bored of it, but I, I'm just telling you the patrons are Anthony Peters. He just did a super chat and gave us on top of being a patron. He just gave us a $5 super chat. Did you see that? Yeah. Is there any yeah. Rainier or Oli out there in the, is there uh, any what? Is there any Rainier beer or no. Olympia beer out there? Mm -mm. Oh, well, we're going to pick up our game. Apparently we are apparently. So that, there is the public demands it. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, Steve. Uh, yeah, Steve in there, well-earned 100,000. Yeah. And we're just blowing up from there, guys. And uh, so, yeah, thanks for the super chat. $5 donation right there went to the super uh, chat. So God God bless. Thank you. What's the, the so chat, funny? The chat's fun, but it can get uh, distracting sometimes. Uh, Ross, who Tomes, who's got a pretty good sense of humor, says, guess times are tough. Squid can't afford a biker media shirt yet. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're gonna Good call, him. Ross. If, if you call his shit called out. me out. Either called me out. <laughs> I'm guessing you didn't bring it, or have we not got you one yet? I have not been blessed with a oh. shirt yet. I hey. thought we had everybody. I thought no. so. We no. always give guys Rick. who work for lab. Like Big Daddy Big Kane, Daddy. Take like care he doesn't of him. have enough to do. Can you get Squid some biker media uh, shirts, some lab shirts? and? I, so I guess the public's telling me I'm a keeper. Oh, you are a keeper. Nice. You are a keeper in our opinion. That's what I'm hearing. I like it. All right. Yeah, you guys got to hear the last episode Squid did, which will be in your patron accounts, which is all about the boombox upgrade. And he talks about that Sony. That episode's also about the boombox system versus the Sony XAV7000, which is the newest unit. Enough said. Yep. Get over, get over there, check your patron accounts in the next day or so, and you'll get to hear that one. And of course, the video is coming out. Of course, we love our sponsors. We love our sponsors. Um, but uh, these people are also... Very, very important. These are some of our newest supporting patron members. We got John Gallagher of Cleburne, Texas. He is top tier. Ed Rodriguez of Navari, Cal uh, sorry, sorry about that, Florida. And Chris Pratt of Madison, New Hampshire. Yeah. Willis Weber of Castle Rock, Colorado. Tony Whitfield of Bellevue, Nebraska. And Scott Klein of Thomasville, Georgia. And he's a top tier member. We also have Darren Holm of Bismarck, North Dakota, Christian Valu of Gloucester, Ontario, Canada, Matthew Sharp of Port Orchard, Washington. I awesome. Used to, I used to live in Port Orchard. Nice. Well, squid. That would seen make sense. Seen a lot of Washington people <laughs> lately. It's awesome to see. Yeah. That. Yeah, we are blowing up with members in Washington. Lawbindingbiker.com forward slash Patreon, P A T R E O N. Pledge a certain amount, purpose content, no risk to you because you can put a monthly cap, of course. There are benefits such as t-shirt stickers, the private troll-free Facebook group, access to live video broadcasts and chat just like this, access to our podcast months before everybody else, access to our live uh, or, or our meetup events and all that kind of stuff like in Sturgis and of course our premium videos up on requests. Let's dive into our main topic. So, um, if you guys weren't aware, I'm going to uh, open it up and then uh, you guys can jump in where you want. 
Um, you know, I got an email on their email subscriber list. I kind of try to follow things. Well, I got an email recently. I'm going to pull it up and it's on Hardy Davidson TV. So hmm. if you aren't aware of this, it is a new thing from Harley. Of course, we're going to give our opinions. And if you guys have opinions in the chat, um, feel free to share them with us. I just posted the link. Um, so yeah, check it out. Um, it, it, they're kind of, it's their own thing. Um, I'll let you guys browse around it. If you're obviously live or you're listening to a podcast and you're not driving or something, um, hit the link and, uh, check it out. You'll kind of see what it looks like and what I'm looking at here while we're podcasting this or doing this podcast. Um, yeah, it's their own platform and you want to describe it a little bit lurch or, or squid. It's, it's, it's weird. Um, because it's, it, well, it, it it's the nuttiest thing. It's it's like a, a TV, like something you expect to see on cable, but it's on the web. They don't have. It's not an app. You can't watch stuff like Netflix. It's they they got a little button down at the bottom left that says live. Right, but, but we're looking at something we saw earlier today. I saw it last week. It's, it's not really, live. It's like um one of the latest satellite TV vendors. Yeah, their splash screen of scheduling mm-hmm. with the uh, with whatever's playing in the background. Um. But as you're trying to scroll to another channel, it's not really working for yeah, me right I, now. <laughs> it wasn't for me either. So it has main channel, racing channel, factory channel, garage channel. You but can't watch the next thing. You can't. You're forced to watch. That's what, what I'm saying. So it's not a la carte. You can't watch the show like uh, Netflix from the beginning. Uh, you have to watch what they're showing you. And they tell you it's live. Horse shit, it's not live. It's just that's what you get to watch. Right. It's... So we have it on the big screen and I have it on my tablet and it's stuck. <laughs> oh, yours, yes, yours isn't doing anything. It's, oh, really? Yeah. It, it's stuck. I haven't tried it on a tablet. I don't know. Yeah, that's interesting. I've tried it on my phone, my iPad. I've tried it on the uh, laptop. I haven't had a problem with it locking up, but uh, it's it's just strange. It's very, well, it's hardly doing their own thing. It's typical. It's, it's just weird. So you can't get, it's not an app, so it's not something you can get on your local cable. It's not something right. you get a smart TV. I guess really the only way to watch it on a big screen would be to use a mobile device and screen share it or, or some type of web browser yeah. if you have a modern smart television. Maybe you can go AirPlay. to the yeah. yeah. AirPlay it from your phone. Maybe HDMI if you're old school and just plug it in your laptop or something. No VHS tape. No, yeah. no, I don't think so. Uh, you might be able to order a DVD. But. Anthony Peters in the chat says you can only watch it when they feel like pushing something. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And yeah, yeah. What else do you guys? Uh, I, I'm going to go through it a little bit, and if okay. it sparks right. any conversation, yeah. I've got some notes, things I want to run talk your about. notes, and then we will comment, yeah. sir. Okay, so let me go through it with you guys. So here's the deal. Looking at it, I've spent some time in it. Um, Again, it's not live, even though it says it's live, which is just stupid, um, in my opinion. I, I don't want to be like negative Nelly. Like, I get Harley is trying, and I, I'm i critical of Harley, and you guys have seen it on the YouTube. And here, I love Harley. I own several of them. Um, we love Harley. I mean, good God. Anybody didn't think we like Harley, but because we like him so much, we're also critical, and we follow him close, and it just kind of is interesting, some of the stupid things they do. Um, now do I think YouTube or, or excuse me, do I think this is kind of cool? Well, yeah, I mean, it's I an get, option. it's, something it's an option nice. uh, and I get them and I'm, I appreciate them trying. I think they often throw their energy in places they shouldn't. And again, I think it comes back to their marketing team who just is kind of out of reality somewhat. So it's got the main tab off the left. I'm looking at desktop version. Of course, right. it's got the, these guys get explained a little bit. So we're looking at yeah, 6.54 p.m. to 9.37 p.m. We're running 2019 Flat Out Friday. Well, this to me, from looking at this, this is the same Flat Out Friday as last Friday. So it, it's like just, oh, they, they put a limited amount of content in it and it just keeps rerunning and it only reruns like Lurch Lert said, it's not a la carte like YouTube where you can just watch what you, like on our channel, you can go to any of our over 500 videos and watch when, when you want how you want as many times as you want. Um, so it's got this main thing and it's got these different time slots. And so the main is really whatever they want to push to you. And then we've got the Willie G Davidson artist designer. It's a documentary and they've really been pushing that. And I've watched part of the documentary and it's well done and it's worth your time. But after you watch it, it's going to keep replaying and replaying every day, the same programming again, 2000, 2019 flat out Harley. Uh, it's just like this, perpetual 
abyss of like stuff you've watched. Like, I don't even know if it's an abyss because an abyss would be right. endless. I it think it's endless. just a loop, just an endless yeah. loop, just keeps replaying the same content. But, but a great idea over and over again. This is a great idea. How so? Please uh, tell us. Getting bikers to come watch their content, directing them to focus. You could market products you want to sell, um, motorcycle riding events that you want to promote, drag racing. It's an awesome opportunity that went flat. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know about it. Oh, they are doing that though. Exactly. They are doing that in here. How so? Well, oh, in here, in in, in this Oh, sorry. Maybe I missed the point. They are trying to do that in here. But I didn't know about it till the, the, we right. started pl- prepping for the show. Exactly. Like, well, you know, there's all these different mediums that they could have advertised this mm-hmm. channel that I would have immediately gravitated towards. Right. I'm interested in biking and everything right. about it, but they didn't sell it to me. Mm-hmm. And I think I'm just an average biker guy who yep. has access to the internet and they did put television. it out over their email subscriber list. And I'm, I'm on their marketing email list because I follow Harley. Darn it. So, I mean, they what did. What about the rest of us that aren't? I didn't hear about it. No, I know. No, and I'm, I, I'm not. So, I'm not. One damn commercial. I'm just saying they have done some nothing. stuff. I'm trying to be balanced right. here. And the, they didn't do everything. They did do some stuff. I mean, you could put out on national broadcasting, hey, you know, spend the money for a 60 second ad and say, hey, go watch this channel. Mm-hmm. Right. At least we'll put a little bug out there, something, a nugget. I agree. To get me out there, let me look. But yep. Keep it a secret. This is ridiculous yep i'm My sure opinion. a lot of the people in the chat this is the first time they're hearing of it and on this podcast a lot of people this be the first time they hear of it so moving on down okay. from maine you go to racing mm-hmm. so there's a tab for racing i'm clicking on it and now, does it do anything and it's been having problems their server oh, oh wait that's a, whoa that's not what i see i see it looks like a drag bike and i've been waiting for probably two minutes now yep not, so as of the time of this, this podcast it's not working at all so, and I've seen this over the last week. I've been in and out of this. Right. And this is some of the problems they're having. It's just, God dang it. They just, they're, them in tech, like the boom box, they just aren't, I don't know what kind of developers they have. I you just, can see the uh, guide that shows you what's on the racing channel, but when you try to watch it, it won't switch off of main. Yep. We, so, so again, there's four different channels. They show you the, the It's supposed the to be NHRA pro stock motorcycle racing, but it's not playing. So not knocking. This is a great idea. Great idea. It is a good idea. It's just, I don't know if they rolled it out right. I disagree, but we'll get to that. Disagree with both of you that it's a great idea. Great idea to do this, but not in this format. There's better formats. To put Thank it you. The idea is right. Yes, good. I get it. Their delivery is piss poor. Nice. Okay. So we're in agreement, disagreement. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Yeah. We're on the same page, basically. I like the content. It's all motorcycle related. I think there's a better way that they can put that out, and we'll get to that here in a little Maybe bit. Maybe they should call you that yeah hey take advice from like somebody that yeah actually i, I know you're knows what they're talking harley about Davidson. i know you are <laughs> i know you're spying on somebody us. in there in the chat is from harley i know it. come dude. on i i know it so moving on racing's not working <laughs> so moving on down to the next tab which is factory and we we're a, loading we got a flashing uh bar and we've shield. got a, we've got a throbbing oh, bar and shield throbbing. just throbbing maybe, maybe. Maybe wait for nope. it and not Barred working anymore. Up. Now we've got a live, we're live. It's we've a, got a live Harley logo and it's, and a pause button, but hit, we're not sure what pause we're pausing because nothing's playing. Hit the pause. See what happens. Pause it I and paused restart it. it. Oh, we got oh, a different wait. picture. We the got a collection changed. now. Okay. Pause it again. Push play. Nothing happened. No. We've it's, got some overpriced oh. Harley bags for sale. Yeah. It's, it looks like their advertisement. Does it have sound? Let me turn the sound on. Um, I nope. would imagine it does. They're, they're so screwed up right now, guys, as of the time of this podcast, because at least earlier today it was working. Right. I went through it and, okay, so factory, I'll tell you because I have been in it when it's working. Mm-hmm. Racing is all racing stuff, right? And it's just Makes reruns. Sense. Uh, yeah. Factory is all their stuff you said. Their they're just pushing stuff. their branded mm-hmm. stuff to you. It's overproduced commercials that don't give a review of the stuff. It doesn't give any testing. It just tells you how freaking great it is with no explanation except we're the best and pay the Harley tax. That's their review. We're that's, the best. It, right. That's it. <laughs> you don't need a review because it says Harley on it right. and it's good. You're going to buy it. You're going to buy it and you're going to love it. And if it breaks, we're not going to replace it and you're still going to love it. And you're going to come back and buy a new one and replace our old crappy one. Kind of like the Boombox GTS. Hey, oh, hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. That, that hurt. <laughs> 
me. You cut me deep. You cut me deep. <laughs> oh, okay, come on. That was good fun. Try oh. the garage. I don't want this his the garage. I don't want to go in there, garage lurch. <laughs> but we're going in. Put your <laughs> we're going in. Put your wiener in that wiener garage. <laughs> We're going in for you guys. It's the Harley garage. Let's see if it works. I hope you don't catch anything. In the Harley garage, it's only $500 for an oil change. So let's go in. <laughs> let's go in. Door number four, the garage. Wait, we got the throbbing Harley logo. We got a guy with glasses and a hat and cars in the background and Ooh. some motorcycle fenders. He's probably painting. Oh, it's Look live it. with a pause button, but we're not it just playing. just won't go live. There are servers or so effed. I see the same picture, but I have a flashing barn's bar and shield in my screen mm. in the middle. Oh, we got a guy spray painting a f- the ass tank. I pushed pause and play. It's just not. Oh, oh hang on. Hang on. Oh, you had some audio there too. I heard. Of. Oh, hang on. Here we go. I did. Let's see. <gasps> oh, let's hang on. Geared science. Okay. Geared science. This is the garage. We're trying to play it. It's not playing. Audio's on. You know what they should be this playing sucks. on that garage channel? Law abiding. Oh, oh, yeah. Ah. No, they, yeah. Uh, they wouldn't do that, dude. <sighs> Playing our, they should play some of our documentary films. That's what they should. But. So yeah, right okay, now, it's not working. Right now, the only channel out of the four that is working is the main channel. Yep. And it's a replay of flat track racing. <laughs> right. Probably 2019. The same event. And, it's the and the Willie thing. G documentary and 50 every, times in a row. And every time, I t- every time I've tuned into it, it's been that one. So Yeah, there's seven issues. Yeah. Yeah. So servers. not knocking it, it just. Right. The idea is flat. good. The idea is good. Yeah. Yeah, so we're not going to get to that. But basically, the garage from my research earlier, again, thank God I researched it earlier. Um, it's all like that kind of stuff, like people customizing bikes mm-hmm. and, mm-hmm. Paint. you know, painting and spray painting and mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff. Um, and again, it's the same reruns over and over. So I don't understand, um, you know, what their schedule is here for content. Like, are they, you know, so here's the deal here's what I relate it to. Like Netflix, right. Has Mm. original content. YouTube has original content. So they very much, uh, you know, uh, of the TV and movie industry where they have, they didn't start out with it. No, they're using other people's content, but they also are now creating their original content. That's new Apple TV. Same thing. They're all getting their own, growing their brand, growing their brand. Exactly. And they got their own people making their own content. I don't understand this. Like, is that what they're going after? Are they doing their own original content? And what's their schedule look like for that? Because you can't play the same reruns for four weeks in a row. And it, which is very limited as it is and expect people to like be intrigued and like wanting to come back and see this. So I, you know, I guess I, they didn't say a, a lot more about it. Like, I don't know who's producing it. You know what I mean? Like, do they have their hardly have their own production team now? And they're trying to. Oh, I doubt that. They're going to make, yeah, you know, or are they just buying this content off, you I, know, people? Or I, I guess I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it, Squid. I, I'm pretty sure they're just buying it. The flat tracking, you know, that Harley is like a. a they're recording supporter. that anyyways. That's their deal. Right. Harley is known for the flat track dirt. And it's racing. badass to watch. That's their deal. And I was, when I first saw this, like, I'm hooked. They're going to be, there's going to be some badass dirt track riding. Uh, I want to sit here Dude, for hours. If we go to Sturgis this year, if it doesn't get canceled at the 75th Sturgis, we went to live, me and Skins, another guy, I don't think you've met him. We went to live flat track racing at it. Sturgis and it was phenomenal. I love it. Can't wait. Oh, I, 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 so we'll go again. Hours. Me and you. I could sit for hours. Yeah. Cause those guys are badass. But alas, this was, well, hmm. So I got some opinions on this, and we'll get into it. Lurch. Yeah. <laughs> My mouth's dry. <clears throat> hey, bikeaholic, searching for a new and exciting motorcycle product? Zero 3D has products you dream about for your bike. Check out their wide variety of innovative products for Harley Davidson and Honda Goldwing motorcycles. Zero 3D has got your back with chrome and black parts, lighting, and other comfort products. No modifying, cutting, grinding, or welding for an easy installation that equals less time installing and more time riding. Zero 3D has a design team with over 40 years of experience with a passion for design and innovation. Zero and Goldstrike are the motorcycle LED lighting innovators for CAN bus, plug and play system compatibility. They pride themselves on great customer service. Got a question? Get in touch with them via email at sales at zero 3D.com or give them a call at 715-808-0027. Check out your local Harley or Honda dealership and ask for Zero or Gold Strike parts. A new leader has emerged, so check out Zero 3D's custom line of Gold Strike products 
for your all new Honda Gold Wings. Better yet, support us and head on over to lawabidingbiker.com forward slash store and check out our full line of Zero 3D products. Big Daddy Kane in the house waiting to ship that to you because he is a busy man, efficient. I'm just scrolling back up. Big Daddy Kane gave us a $5 super chat. He yeah. did. Yeah, wow. Well, how got about the, that, Got bro? the ball rolling. Got the ball rolling. Thanks, guys. If you don't know how they do that, uh, they just go to the bottom of the chat, I believe. I don't see it on my end because I'm the producer of this, but I believe there's just a money sign or something. Do you guys see it? Uh, I don't because I'm in iOS. Uh, I think there's some issues still with that, isn't there? Oh, no, no. They got oh, it. I got out. my popped out chat. Let me go back. Yeah, Hold that's on. the thing. We got popped out chat. So. It's there. I see it it's on there. my what do you see? A dollar, a, sign. a dollar sign yeah. on the bottom. Oh, yeah, at the bottom. Is. There it is. We just don't see it because we're yeah. the producers yeah. of this mm-hmm. one. But anyways, thank yeah. you, uh, Big Daddy, for, geez, Louise, man, bought me a beer. How about that? All right. So let's dive into this just a little bit. And then we're, don't worry, we're still going to cover the uh, new Hardy GMC pickup. I don't, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Rick, Rick, Big Daddy, look at. Rick, Rick. Yeah, nice. You can't so do it the same as he. He's no, so busy. But I'm trying. Big Daddy's the he, man. He does it smooth and sexy, though. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, he's Big Daddy. All right. Yep. Real quick, don't forget, guys, uh, we've talked about it before, but uh, we are we have a, a distributorship, and uh, although we don't have a ton of Vance and Hines stuff in our store, we have the a lot of the popular stuff. Hit up Big Daddy over in the store, lawabidingbarker.com for our store. Uh, 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 go it over there because we have a access to a ton of, of stuff that's not yet listed on our store because it just takes time. We're a Tucker Rocky distributor. So if you look, or if you just look up tucker.com, um, it's kind of a clunky catalog, but anything in there you see, uh, we can get for you. And and uh, Big Daddy has worked with a lot of the patron members. Of course, you can use your patron discount and uh, he will give you the best price he can. And uh, if it's a good price, cool. We'll hook you up. If not, then we understand, but uh, he'll do his best for you over there. Over time, we're going to get a lot more stuff listed, but we are a bootstrap company still, guys, and we can only do so much so fast. So I just want to mention that uh, real quick, guys. So let's go around the table. I'm going to bring up a couple points. Let me know in the chat too, the live chat. Like, I don't know how much time you guys have had to look at, and since it's not working right now for us, you know, to, or if any of you have, have actually knew about Harley TV and you've experienced it over the last week or so and what your thoughts are of it. We'll try to get some of those comments in. So here's my thing. Um, And of course, I'm opinionated a bit about it. Um, I just think that it's going to die. Um, I think it's going to die quick. Uh, here's Here's the reasons why. I don't think that it was a bad idea. I don't think they have ill intent by doing it. Um, I think it's their horrible uh, marketing team, which I've talked about so much in the past. I beat a dead horse. I don't know why they make the decisions they make because here's the problem. They went over and they they didn't use anything. They didn't use YouTube or Netflix or any of the other, you know, Amazon or any of the other services that are out there. They should have used YouTube, okay? I'll just tell you that right now. Everybody's on YouTube. People don't want to go to a different platform and they're not going to remember to keep checking back in with Harley TV. It doesn't pop up when they go to YouTube. It doesn't pop up as suggestions. It's, there's no algorithm to it. There's nothing to it. It's a separate place that people have to go. They're just not going to go there. Me as a biker, I'm just not going to go there. I'm going to forget about it unless they're pumping out content that is so amazing and so moving that you can't forget about it. They should not have started their own platform. They should have utilized the platforms where everybody's already at. People just aren't into that these days. So to have to go over there and check back in, I just think they're going to do this for a little while, and then I'll go around table. They're going to do this for a little while. I think it's going to die, especially if they're having problems like they are, and if they don't come out with new compelling content. I'm going to say, and I got some more things, but I want you to jump in because I know you got something. That's what makes the good conversation. But I think really quick, and I'll let Squid jump in, they should have absolutely 100% went to YouTube um, and, and and put the stuff on YouTube where people are at. Their channel sucks, and I've talked about that before. It's because they don't know how to run a YouTube channel because they're a corporate giant, and they think they can run a YouTube channel like traditional television, and that's not the way YouTube works. You have to connect with your community. If there's no connection, people don't give a shit about your YouTube channel. I got a lot more. Go ahead, Squid. So I'm a hog member. I'm thinking you have probably a few hundred thousand hog members. And when you sign up, you have to give them an email address. 
How come they didn't reach out to me that mm. way? Yeah, no shit. It's a good call. Why didn't they reach out to me like that? I just renewed my membership. Right. They could have sent me a response back. Hey, thank you for giving us your money. Oh, and by the way, go check out this channel. Right. Now, let's say they did that and you knew about it. I, are you going back here? Are you going back here every week to check their shit out? I might have checked it once. Right. I, 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 I just gave it, gave it a chance. I get that. Question is, now that you know about it. No. Why? Because it's so damn clunky. <laughs> my, You're going to forget about it. My coworkers. You're on YouTube all the time, yeah. right? Yeah. It's going to pop up in suggestions if it's on YouTube. <laughs> and you're going to be like, oh shit, that's right. Hardy right. TV, right? Not going to remember it. No, not if it doesn't give me a minor, reminder. Exactly. Today's show, I'm sure our patron members love you guys. You got your reminder. There's a show coming up mm -hmm. and you're waiting for it. We have over 150 people that are waiting for it. Yeah. It's money. Love it. Come on, Harley. Come on. Yep. Yeah. And so I just think that's what they should have did. And again, I've said it in the past, I'm not going to beat a dead horse very quickly. I don't need anything from Harley. We've built a channel over seven years, over 100,000 subscribers. We got, uh, you know, the most popular motorcycle podcast out there in the top 10% of all podcasts. Lurch reminds you of the award. That's because of you guys, by the way. Not <laughs> That award is as much for you guys as it is us. But, um, you know, they could have reached out to all the YouTube influencers like they still don't do. And, you know, if it was good for our community, you know, they could have promoted it on the people that have communities on YouTube where their audience is. And they just failed to do that capitalizing on squid's point of them. Not, they should have pre-released this. They should have reached out to all the influencers in the space and they just don't give a shit about what's actually going on and how, where their community is. It's just, it, it's again, they're trying to do their own thing, their own proprietary thing. And it's 10 years behind the curve and I just feel sorry for them that they just waste so much money uh, to try to get. And I think, I know they're not doing it maliciously, so don't get me wrong. Um, all right. So let me move on. Um, I just make sure I nailed everything. I have my notes here. So I did. I, I had my stuff written, but I nailed all my points. So go ahead. You should it, see his notes. <laughs> there's not a whole lot of them, but I mean, you, as you guys are talking. one bullet point. I don't, I don't want to re- uh, hash stuff you guys have already said. So right. I just have a couple of notes. It's very strange though. It's like live TV over the web. Mm -hmm. You've got to go to the web, log in, you know, put the address in and go look at it. It's, it's not in an app. And, and we looked earlier today, Ryan pulled up uh, Harley's app and it's not in their app. I mean, it would oh, be in their regular app, right? In the regular app. It'd be mm -hmm. nice if you go to Harley's right. app, open Something. it up and watch it. Uh, if not that, maybe a separate app. It needs to be, uh, with the current trend, which is a la carte, something you can watch whenever you want. I still, I hate to admit it, but I still have a uh, cable, not cable actually, because I live out in the sticks, but we have a uh, direct TV and I've been trying to get my wife to get rid of it. The only reason I still watch it at all, I, I never watch anything live to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. So I have direct TV, which is live, like a bigger version right. of what we just saw on the yeah. web, right? but I never watch it live. I record the shows through the DVR and I watch it when I want to. So even that, which is YouTube. live, mm -hmm. I watch it when I right. want to. So the current trend is to be able to watch what you want when you On want. On demand. So they either need to put it into an app. They need to go with, with a, another service like, uh, you know, YouTube Any, or anybody else, or what they're doing. Netflix, yeah, right, anything yeah, yeah, other yeah. what they're doing. <laughs> right. Because it's, it's, it's inconvenient in a world of convenience and I can go to apps on my TV and watch what I want when right. I want. This is clunky. Mm -hmm. It's so you're right. It's I, my opinion. It's going to die. A good uh, example of that clunkiness and why you don't start your own, depending on what you're doing. Quick example is a lot of what me and Matt made this decision a long time ago when we started the private patron Facebook group. Okay. We could have went with Patreon which is our, that's our platform, but they don't, they aren't good at the chat and the threading. The interaction we, yes. amongst mm -hmm. the members is clunky. They can interact with us pretty yes. well, but not with each other so much. And to further, uh, you know, we could have on our website, we could have made our, a lot of people used to do that. We could have made our own chat on our website. Mm -hmm. Right. Here's what a we forum, if you will, a forum. Here's what we found. And I'm glad we made the decision and we is, is Facebook's already there. And this is my YouTube example, why they should have went with YouTube. Facebook's already there. A lot of our audience, we found our demographic is on Facebook. Whether you like Facebook or not, that's a majority of our audience is there. And because they're already in Facebook, 
they check it every day anyways. They get all the algorithm alerts from, you know, Law Abiding Biker posted this, private Facebook group, and it reminds them to go in there and check. And that's the same with YouTube. They're going to get reminders. And it's just this, these platforms have built these beautiful algorithms to, and search and suggestion to suggest what you like best and what you most look at. And therefore, we decided why not just use the Facebook algorithm and platform because we know people will be more involved if we do that. And it's it's a it's a space that they're familiar with using. Right. They're used to using YouTube. They're used to using Instagram and Facebook and these things. And why are we creating this new they thing when it's not for purchase? If it's for purchase, I get it. You got it. Like we use a service for our for purchase. That's different. This is free content. But yeah. people trust that platform. It mean, mm-hmm. YouTube or, or Facebook through whatever mediums they're getting, sending out information. People have a trust in it allow that reminder to come to them. Mm-hmm. So if people are already allowing that information to come in, why would you not want to tap into that avenue right. to get your information there? And I'm just looking at- Harley uh, Davidson. Sorry to interrupt you. I apologize. Don't mess with squid. I'm looking at uh, YouTube right now and Harley has their own channel. I mean, they've oh, got I know. a lot it's of a, videos. It's of a their own channel. stuff. Overproduced, no connection. It's all commercial stuff, but at least, I mean, they have videos on YouTube. This thing is strange where they're putting- they should have taken this and put it on their channel. This May, is, it so, might have helped their yeah, channel. This is like Motor Trend. Um, uh, yeah, that's funny. You know, when you look, you start looking at it. it it's like a, David it Schwartz. Reminds, it reminds me of Motor Trend. The TV channel is like the NRA channel, always looping the same content. Yes, well said. Well, Motor Trend. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay, I don't know Motor Trend. Motor, if, yeah. So Motor Trend uh, is a channel that you can get on cable, you can get it on satellite, but they also have their own app, and it's TV with uh, car related shows. So that's what this kind of reminds me of. This is motorcycle related. So it's a, a channel of motorcycle shows, but there's only one way to get it, which is through the web site and not through through cable TV you or can't whatever watch it through cable or satellite or an app. I right. mean, Motor Trend created their own app. Now I can watch the Motor Trend shows on my phone if I want to. I think if they want this thing to survive, because I do like the fact, I like the idea. Right. I think we all agree we like the idea. The show, the it's few shows s- that are on there are cool. It's more yeah. cycle related. If I'm feeling more cycles, I want to be able to go to this Harley TV and watch it. But I need it in a different platform. They need to share. Their their <clears throat> their communication companies out there that have motorcycle centric or had motorcycle centric channels. Mm-hmm. They need to reach out to uh, it used to be Speed Vision a few years back. Mm-hmm. They got bought by Motor Trend, I think it was. They, they need to share their branding with these other companies right. to promote themselves. Yep. And they're not doing it. They're trying to keep it all in house and they're sucking at it. Mm-hmm. Harley Davidson. <laughs> yeah, he's calling you them out again. You're, you're sucking. Listening. It's kind of, it reminds me of like your Pornhub subscription. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> he bought a lifetime. <laughs> COVID. All right. I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> On a side note, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently Pornhub's like going through the roof right now with all your baby. Oh home. God. I yeah. imagine yeah. dude, you know, we've experienced it. I've never influx. heard of it. I just made that up. Is that an actual oh, thing? Yes. Yeah. You're so full of shit. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> anything about Pornhub, dude. <laughs> <sighs> I made day job. Oh, we have God. to look at all people's right. phones. Yes. Oh yeah, exactly. That's, <laughs> That is true. That's actually, yeah, yeah. There's Ugh. some others too. Nasty. Thanks a lot. All right. So anyway, um, what? It, let's follow up on that. Let's move into the new pickup. So anyways, uh, to, 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 to end this segment of the podcast before we move on, I'm not against it. The shows they do have on there, go watch the, it'll take you a couple hours. You'll probably watch everything they have on there and you'll be done with it. And then check back in a month and yeah. see if they're putting new stuff on there. Again, I'm not sure why they did it the way they did it. Um, I think by the end of 2020, uh, or even a couple months, nobody will be talking about it and hardly anybody's talking about it now. And, uh, I think it's just going to die like a lot of their stuff, but good try Harley. Um, get connected with how people are actually consuming content these days. And, uh, you might have a shot at this game. You want our number Harley Davidson? Mm. That's right. Hope you we out. have a contact form. <laughs> yep. That's right. It'd take years to fix them, but yeah. All right. Anything else, Lurch, on that? No, I think we've beat that horse. Let's oh, move God. on to the next topic. Horse is battered. Oh, are you searching for the easiest and quickest detachable luggage system for your motorcycle? Rick, Rick, Rick. has just what you're looking for. Forget all those frustrating straps and bungee cr- cords that can come loose and slap your paint. 
I like it. I just want to see if you catch it. Check out one of Rip Rack's <laughs> awesome quick attach strap and sluggage rack systems. This father son team designed something really special you can't find anywhere else. Yep. And these guys ride, so they truly understand the needs of bikers. The Rick Rack quick attach system is strong, durable, and secure with a locking system. Also, check out their full line of quality touring bags to accompany your quick attach system. Once you use Rick Rack, Rick Rack, you'll never go back. What are you waiting for, bikeholics? Head over to lawbindingbiker.com forward slash store. Check out our full line of Sierra, or excuse me, have Rick Rack systems and bags and big daddy cane in the house and somebody said something earlier there's so much chat it's crazy uh that uh brian helped him get out of a pinch goat down in the store because he made a stupid mistake up on order and that's what those guys are down there for they are amazing uh the, that's truly bikers helping bikers down there uh in the law abiding biker store so let's move on into our next subject that is the new Harley GMC pickup. Let me get it up and going here. Close that. There you go. So this is interesting. This actually came to me out of our sworn few motorcycle club group. Me, one of the Tennessee guys, I can't remember who it was, uh, threw this out in the group me. I and, will look as you and a link, Oh, I think it's old. You'll have a long I time. I will not look. It. Yeah, it's like weeks, <laughs> weeks old. Okay. Um, and we chat a lot. And there's there. more than just GMC, correct? Yeah, there right. is. Okay. So let's dive in. Let's dive into it. And you guys actually know more about this because you guys are truck guys. I'm not a huge truck guys. I don't follow it. But you have some history. I ordered one yesterday. With one of your relatives. Right, my or, dad. Yeah. So he, yeah, he give me your background. A, I think a 2003 Ford F-150 uh, Harley Davidson. I think it was their anniversary edition. 03? I think it was 03. I think you're right. Um, twin turbo, lovely truck. Has up like 212,000 miles on it. Not nearly as expensive as the new offerings. Because, if, and correct me if I'm wrong, those were actually produced by Ford. They were, they were Ford product off the Ford assembly line. Whereas this is a truck that's been redone by another company. Right. Aftermarket. Aftermarket. Say that again. Back up. Sorry. So my dad's truck mm -hmm. bought from Ford. Ford dealership, brand new, five miles on it, off the showroom floor. So you can get like a Ford uh, XLT or Ford Lariat, or you can get the Ford Harley version. Right. Okay. It came from Ford. Right. Oh, right. Right. They're just branding it Harley. Right. Correct. They're Harley, Harley badging. Right. Yes. Harley badging. But it came from the dealership. It rolled off their assembly line while these latest versions. Who, of whose assembly line? Ford's. Ford's. Okay. Thank you. Ford. Thank you. Produced I just want to make sure. Okay. Motor company. Right. Yes. This is back in 03. Ford. Gotcha. Got in a deal with Harley Davidson to produce a HD branded truck. Gotcha. Okay. And so this company, Tuscany mm -hmm. Motor Corp or Motor Company, they're uh, looks like they're producing this uh, press release came back January tenth of twenty twenty, um, where it announced that Harley Davidson and Tuscany Motor Company will introduce a Harley Davidson branded pick GMC pickup. Um, and through it, uh, the it'll be introduced the first quarter one Mike. of 2020. Mike, it will be introduced the yeah. first quarter of 2020. Ooh, listen to that voice in LA, uh, 250 trucks will be available. Oh, only through. making 250 of these right. things, huh? okay? But that GMC Sierra trucks that potentially could make the value it's a GMC. greater at the GMC. Well, they do Fords too, but if they do limited productions, but still a GMC though, limited productions you would assume would have more value. Like a like anything like a Roush or, right. or any of that kind of stuff. I'm not a big truck Shelby. guy. Shelby, no, not, not. no, I don't know a ton about them. I love trucks, but I'll I always have. A I truck. don't have a need for one right now. <laughs> I have a 2003 GMC Yukon with 220 thousand miles on it. It's been paid for for like 10 years. That's why I still have it. It's not a truck. I know. That's all. That's just what I'm saying. That's all I got. <laughs> that's all I got, bro. That's all I got. So, I, I don't got a need for a big truck. So there's 65 for the GMC, according to their presser, has 65 edition specific components that make the 2020 model truck distinctively Harley Davidson. Must be like a tax stamp on it somewhere. Mm, of course there is. <laughs> and the, the styling is inspired by the famous Harley Davidson fat boy model. Yeah. And I got to say, personally, the wheels are ugly as shit. Where are you looking at? Let me... Uh so this is the GMC Harley Davidson press e release. Either one, if you just go to the Tuscany's website, it'll be the easiest thing for you. Remember the old Smokey and the Bandit, and then uh, go uh, scroll down and go to four. Or get uh, there. You go. You won't look at any of those. Let's but see, see the, the wheels. GMC first. So those wheels are 
based on the the fat boy wheels, which look good on the fat boy. I don't think they look that great on that truck. I've and here's the deal. I want to look at this. I want to dive in. That's a beautiful truck, regardless of the wheels. It's lifted. It's got 37 inch tires. I don't understand. Like I get it. Like I I don't know that I why I, what. <laughs> What's the benefit of buying the Harley branded truck besides it's they're just 250 they have a little bit different look it's a limited, and paying a shitload, it's right? It's a limited edition. It's okay. custom. It's got Harley on it and that's it. Does anybody in the live chat right now, do any of you own, I'm curious, and it's cool if you do, I'm not, um, I just don't know anybody and I've been around a lot of Harley people. I don't know anybody personally that owns a Harley branded truck. So let us know and let us know what year and that kind of stuff. I I'm remember, actually generally curious. I remember seeing that 03 one that came through the Ford dealership mm -hmm. and it's a good looking truck, yeah. but these things are lifted. They've got 37 inch tires on They're them. Sort of They've gaudy. got 700 and you know, 700 horsepower motors. There's, there's a lot going into this. This isn't, this, this isn't just a F-150 that's okay, got some right. Harley Davidson uh, badging on it. This is a that's custom, what I, okay. This is a custom truck. You're talking about lift. Wheels and tires. Um, Why don't you go through paint, the specs on it? Uh, motor. The 20, oh, I don't have the specs up. Well, you, I'm, I'm going from you're on the my website. Memory. I know. Well, just go bring this. You got a computer in front well, of you. The this only is what we do. The only spec that I am uh, that wants me to throw up is the price. Yeah. Well, we'll do that uh, at the end. Okay. okay. I got some specs <laughs> here. So, in particular, so there's a Ford. There's a GM version which one are we going to talk about gmc right now All that's right. that's the newest because they've never done a gmc my understanding well, no, they've correct been, they've always partnered with so this Ford. is the news this is the big so news. here okay. is some of the extras that you get you get 22 inch wheels some big ass wheels uh, on the gm it's a 35 inch uh all-terrain tire looks like a bfg potentially i'm not sure uh you got a, a aftermarket suspension a bds suspension designed for the harley davidson truck with exclusive tuned fox performance shocks and lateral stability bars. Does it have a boombox system? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's got the Sony. It's got the Sony in it. Really? Come uh, on, dude. That's, that's hey, another here, cut. That's here, another cut. <laughs> here's a feature. Here's a here's a feature. They actually uh, recalibrate the speedometer. Well, thank you for that. Well, that's a wonderful wow. thing. Oh, thank and, you, and, Harley. And they they uh, they align the front end and they calibrate recalibrate the tire sensors. Shouldn't this it come off the damn factory <laughs> well, line? They know that because they screw with it. They take a stock truck and they I lift gotcha. it six inches. And there and you go. They screwed with it. They screwed with it. <laughs> they, they lift it. They put big wheels and tires. So anytime you do that, you're going to throw off your speedometer. You're going to throw off your front end. So makes sense. Not only do they lift it, they actually put it to where it rides like it should. I would expect them to recalibrate the speedometer. Uh, you jack get asses. color matched. <laughs> you don't need to Harley tell Davidson me. Davidson fender flares. Um, you got uh, front fender front fender vents with the barn shield, all kinds of Harley badging. What else do we got? Wait, here? wait, we have Harley orange Davidson tow hooks. orange tow hooks. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Dude. Yeah, I can <laughs> They're do that. They're orange. I can do that <laughs> on my truck right now. I can go out there and unbolt them and spray paint them. Uh, what else do we got here? But I get you, I bet you it gives you another 100 horsepower. Exactly. A lot there. of HD branding. Um, so the big and floor mats, but it's, it's $95,000. It's a lifted truck with some Harley stuff on it. Here, what? Here's I mean, some, I can do this whole thing for $30,000 less. Yeah, right. Exactly. It's got a grill and skid plate. Okay. I want to go through some of the other interesting stuff here. Uh, fully customized grill, bar and shield. All right. All right. Norman name is incorporated into the bezel. Induction style hood. So it's got the hood scoop induction style a little bit, I, I suppose. Fender vent. All right. It's got little vents with the Harley logo on the side. Limited edition number plate. So every Harley Davidson truck produced is assigned a limited edition number, which is placed onto the center console the in hard, a stylish design. Sorry, I apologize. No, that, that hard tunnel cover is pretty cool. Yeah, I was moving down yeah. to that. Tonneau cover, this is cool. This is the largest Harley Davidson badge uh, is located on the color match tonneau cover on the top. So if you're looking down on the truck, um, the bar and shield logo is debossed onto the top of the tonneau cover, making for a very bold statement. Mm -hmm. That makes it go faster. Add, add a level of security. The tonneau cover also features lock, protect cargo. Of course, you already talked about the fat boy milled wheels. Very ugly. Uh, it's ugly. It, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's it I don't kind know. of a seven on that truck. The way they look, they have a kind of a seventies look. And I back smoking the bandit kind of. Wheels. I don't think they, they they just don't look right. They don't fit with the truck. Mm, I agree. I have to agree with that. Tailgate and exhaust. Now the tailgate boasts dark finish, ladding or cladding with integrated Harley Davidson badging. Of course, completing Harley Davidson GMC package is a custom tuned exhaust, which features exclusive sole aluminum. Uh, black tips 
And uh, if you modify that exhaust at all, of course, they'll void your warranty. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> they'll plug your ECM in like your Harley. It'll go to the mothership and they ain't going to say no uh, more. Yeah. Don't buy a warranty with it. All right. We could, uh, yeah, we could make a lot of fun of that. What stuff, are people so. saying? Mm. What other specs? What kind of motor? Did you talk about the motor? Uh, I, well, this thing come on, in it. They dude? had some information on the Ford version. Does this come with the Milwaukee 8 in it? The 114 or what? <laughs> I don't know what they're doing on the GMC. Based on the price, maybe they're not jumping the motor up a whole lot. On the Ford version. Uh, they got the got, heel shifter in it. It's got a 700 think? horsepower motor in the, the so, F-150. Larry Daniels. Okay. So yeah. A Ford Raptor, uh, much more truck for less than an HD truck. Yeah. The Raptor's a badass truck. I saw that one of those and the I other agree. day. It's pretty badass. For like 60 yeah. grand. Yeah, they're getting too popular though. I'm seeing too many of them. They're wearing them out. It's like they're the, cool. It's like right. the it's like the Ford Lightning back in the day, hot rod truck. Yeah, that, that Raptor is it is pretty badass. badass. It is badass. It's not really a it's not really a truck. Mm. It's more of a hot rod, but yeah, it's not a truck. It's a hot rod truck. My idea of a truck is I'm going to go put hay or yeah. gravel or something in the back. All right, should we? Uh, here we go. Let we should live. Hang You're on. You're going to order one. Let's do this. We're going to order a Harley Davidson truck. Uh, are you going to get the 250? <laughs> Hang on. Oh, hey. No, fuck that. <laughs> I'm putting the contact form. <laughs> You're putting my name in there. You better stop. Matt, that's law. <laughs> Abidingbiker.com. I'm putting in Matt's information. Somebody's going to call you. They're going to call you on Monday. Email, dude. You and put then, my phone number in there and I will knock you out. one 800 porn <laughs> hub is what we'll put for your phone number. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> no, we won't do it. <laughs> that was good fun, though. That is funny. Uh, I thought you were going to do it for a second. <laughs> yeah. No, we won't do that. But you can con. If you guys are interested, you can contact them. And uh, you didn't find out what the uh, They're pretty secret. motor in that was, I'm dude? still... The, the, I, I Where'd you find the specs? It's on the Tuscany... It's on HarleyTruck.com forward slash GMC. I'm on hardytruck.com forward slash GMC. Yeah, I'm just they, they don't have it. motor information on the GMC. No. If you go to the Ford, they have motor information. Yeah, interesting. But the, the Ford one's f- almost 15,000 more, so I'm guessing Oh, it is? Why. Yeah. So what, this is 95? This one's 95. The other one's like 111 for the F-150. Only 250 of them, one bikeaholic, so you better get out there and set $107,000. For what? The F-150. Let's go to the... F- oh, maybe it was a 250. That was 111. Yes. Okay. Sorry, sorry, people. Yeah, it, 107. It, you're right. There it is. But if you look at the information on the Ford, it actually tells you it's got a 700 horsepower motor. Mm, yeah, they don't even say the motor here. Harley Davidson branded 700 plus. I'm telling you, it's got the Milwaukee 8 horsepower supercharger. Two of them. Two of two Milwaukee 8 114s under the hood of that bitch. I'll tell you that. All right, so it's cool. I didn't see any chat. If anybody even has one of these, um, does it come with handlebars or a steering wheel, Ryan? Yeah. <laughs> Scott, uh, green, green grass says gang grass. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that'd be cool. We need some apes, right. Coming out of the dash right there. Some apes and yeah. Heel shifter down there, dude, just smoking. So yeah, if this is stuff you guys are interested in, I thought it was kind of cool. It was a press release. I thought it was worth talking about. Let's go to the, what's the two fifty cost? One eleven. So that's the 111 and the 150 is the 107. Um, if you guys had money to burn, uh, which one of these bad boys do you think you'd get? Oh, I'd definitely get the uh, F-150 with the Why? 700 horsepower. Just because of the 700 horsepower? Yep. Hmm. Interesting. I'd buy a boom box. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it doesn't, it doesn't even say what kind of I don't need, So here's my thought. On, here's my thought on the trucks. <laughs> Please do. It's Please either, do. it's either GMC, which is half ton or the Ford, which is half ton. Cause why in the God's green earth would I need a $111,000 three quarter ton truck? That's a work truck. I'm not spending that much money on a truck. If I'm getting this, it's for the show. Gotcha. You're not actually the show use it. and the go. I want to look good. I want to haul ass. So, just with what I've seen here, I'm going with the F-150, 700 horsepower. I'm getting rid of those ugly-ass wheels. I'm putting some better wheels on it, and I'm going to burn them tires off. Are the Is the Ford coming with the... You, so you think these these aren't the fat boy wheels, but you think the Ford... Those, are, Ford, those, those, are, are, those are the fat boy inspired. Oh, they are the same That's the wheels. Ford version. The yeah. Ford version. They're a little better maybe than the GMC version. I think they're ugly as shit. I get rid of the wheels. Hmm. You take the LA and it'll be up on blocks. Yeah, dude, no doubt. No doubt. I'm just looking and if at you're it. from LA, don't take offense. Yeah, that's a lot of money for I, a I truck. I can't justify it. I had a hard time justifying. Dude, money. you just bought the Boombox <laughs> GTS. And I'm broke you're, now. You got so, you're working OT like crazy, dude. You, mm-hmm. you can go buy a brand new one-ton diesel for damn near 
Ugh. Not much more than half of that. And be happier. And happier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. If I had the money, maybe. If I had the money, I wouldn't worry about it. Because true. If you guys didn't know, much, um, it's too much money. Uh, squid works a lot of overtime on his side job. <laughs> and uh, he's money bags, which is why he can afford the Boombox GTS. Because he's just a gigolo. <laughs> Everywhere, Everywhere he, he goes. goes. <laughs> <laughs> Such a catchy tune, dude. Oh, my gosh. All right. We love Squid. He's a gigolo. All right. And anything else on these uh, trucks, guys, before we wrap it up? So, you know, if you guys are interested in this, they are cool looking. Um, definitely, totally just like a luxury like item. Like, Hardy must make some good money off these things. You think? God, I wonder. I mean, why are they they're, pushing it? You know, well, they're they're allowing the Tuscany to use their badging, right. so they've come into some deal with them. Right, Harley so got they, their money already. Yeah, they get. They, okay. Yeah, no doubt. They had to pay Harley a certain amount of money right. to use their right. badging, right? So you think that's it? You think that? Um, I'm interested in a project like this. Like you think Harley, they pay Harley. They say you're allowed to use our logo, and then do you think they back out of there? There's got to be some quality control. Like Harley's like, we want to help. Do you think they help design it? Like we want potentially. God, I hope not. Have some of the. <laughs> have some of their designers involved? I mean, or do you think they're like, yeah, fuck, use our logo. We don't care what you build because that, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, they don't care. What, Harley doesn't care chat, what they build. <laughs> right? Something in chat? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's got a six-gallon gas tank. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, in theory, it's great. It's a good-looking truck. Um, I like a lifted truck. I'm all about 700 horsepower. Uh, the black, the chrome, the, the orange, it all looks good together. The wheels are dog shit. Um, but seven th- for a hundred thousand dollars in theory, I like it. Yeah, if you're yeah right. In if reality, if you got extra money to burn. Right. Ain't doing it. Yeah, yeah. How how much to give me an idea? How many horsepower is your current truck? Oh, that's it's diesel. I got to look at it. Oh, Hold sorry, on. I didn't yeah. mean to throw you on the spot. Well, I'll dude. find it in a second. But it's yeah. a one ton diesel. It gives me an idea truck. of you know what we're looking at it's here. Different kind of horsepower too. Diesel uh, is, torque is torque, whereas gas is. Not as torquey. Not as torquey, but a lot more. Uh, it's more explosive, if you will. A, a diesel's meant to get going and not stop. And David Schwartz says, says and no reverse. Quick. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't need reverse. You just punch it in and do a 180. Big Daddy says, like buying a Hennessy Camaro, you're buying it because you can afford it. Yeah, it's, <laughs> that's well said, Big Daddy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, well said. Well said. We appreciate it. I'm just thumbing through the chat here, and uh, we're going to wrap it up here, guys. We appreciate everybody being in this chat it's i can't even go through all the comments here it's crazy this is a record guys and thank you for so that yeah off topic 350 uh, to 410 horsepower for okay the, so wow 700 horsepower it's a lot it's 700 it, it, that's a lot i mean you, most of your patrol cars that you've driven have been 300 yeah, yeah. give Ish. or take 280 to three and a quarter so when you get up to 700, that is a shit ton of horsepower. I didn't ask. Is this a diesel? No, this these are gas. 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 Straight up gas, huh? Mm-hmm. Wow. They're, what do you got? That's an insanely so fast. Scotty so, yeah. had a question in the live chat. About who? Scotty. Scotty who? Just Scotty. Oh, okay. All right. About his oh, yeah, I see. Scotty. Okay. 2018 Road Glide Ultra. I uh, just bought and love it. Curious how the twin fans really cool the bike. Though, if there isn't any coolant and the fans are kind of far from the motor, please advise. Anybody in the What's he chat? asking how they cool? Yes. Oh, it, it, they do great. Um, there really hasn't been, I've seen zero issues with the cooling on the Milwaukee 8s and the lowers. Um, I, I can't say a lot more than that other than we've had zero people with overheating bikes or worries even riding them in 100 and plus degree temperatures, even at slow speeds. I don't think it's anything you need to upgrade. I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, They've done a good job with that system. I remember a lot of those motors um, on the other bikes that don't have the lowers, they're only oil cooled and they do fine too. So you've just got a little bit extra cooling, but you could literally take those off. Don't do it. Essentially that motor has oil cooling for the bikes that don't have the lowers and it's cooling it just fine. So um, yeah, hopefully that helps answer yeah. that question. I just leave it alone and just ride, ride on. All right. Anything else in the chat before we take it out? Thank you for everyone for showing up. This mm. is amazing. Absolutely, guys. It's been awesome hanging out with you. Love it. 
This is our second episode back to back. So this one will be uploaded in your patron accounts, of course. And then our previous episode, I'll try to get to it tomorrow at the latest before Monday. Get them loaded up into your account so uh, that you can check them out. Of course, we love our patron members. We want to get to know you in the private Facebook group. We want to live chat with you. We want to know who you are. We want to give you benefits. But hey, if the only way right now that you want to support us is through a flat donation, of course, we never balk at flat donations. Uh, Stephen Idar of Marysville, Michigan. Thank you, John Livings and Brian Sparrow of Summerall, Mississippi. Thank you, lawbindingbagger.com forward slash donate. M I S S I S S I P P I. Yeah, buddy. That's how they uh, <laughs> left us a flat donation. And we always appreciate it because it helps put a little fuel in the law abiding biker gas tank. So we keep this bitch rolling on down the road. There you go, guys. Thanks to uh, Lurch and Squid for a long film day. Oh, it's always oh, fun. It's been fun. We never, forgot to even talk about like our other work. film project. We did the Boombox GTS. Oh, and then yeah. Oh, yeah. We, uh, we also filmed, which will come out on the YouTube channel, um, the installation of some Tracer LED bearing lower grill lights, which replace the grill on your lowers for your, where you're talking about cooling and they're white lights, uh, when you're running and then they turn into signals when you're signaling. They're actually a really cool product. We I ins- like them. We installed yeah. them. I like them. They give your bike a great look, some extra light up front. Uh, other motors can definitely see a signaling and all that. Don't forget. We have a ton of other Ciro 3D lighting that's very similar. Not those specific items. We got Fang LEDs and we got bat blades and we got lower windshield trim. We're just selling the hell out of that stuff in the Law Binding Breaker store because it's great quality stuff and it gives you that extra visibility up front. All available over there in the store, guys. So, uh, yeah, if you want to get over there and shop, Big Daddy Kane, Goat, can help you out over there. Thanks, Big Daddy. Didn't know you were going to be in here for the whole podcast, so appreciate you uh, being in here and chatting with the community because without the community guys like i always say we wouldn't have anything and the community is the one that shops in the store and watches our videos and buys our videos and supports us and become patrons and all that other stuff so we can continue our mission helping as many bikers as we can worldwide through entertaining educating inspiring and all that kind of stuff guys so thank you very much oh there you go, guys. Quite right. a day. It's been long. Always long days, like 14-hour days on these days. After a long work week, all of us. Yep. But we do it because we love you guys, and uh, we love hanging with you. But I'm tired. I'm going to go on a ride tomorrow. Oh. Uh, we're going to take the adventure bikes out. Me and oh, Austin right Faxi's texting me. I feel a little <laughs> left behind, by the way. I know, dude. I, I'm watching him and Oscar do these adventure bike rides, and I feel left behind. A little lonely. Oh, yeah. He'll, it's almost like they broke up with me. <laughs> it hurts a little bit. He'll be catching up soon. He'll be catching up. He's look, He's got already, his eye on some adventure already bikes. Planted, already planted that seed with the old lady. Yeah, buddy. He's got to let it germinate. Yeah, drop that right there. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We're out of here.